Hello traders, FS Pip Collector here. Today is Wednesday, May 31st, and I'm going to be analyzing the Yo US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So as you can see on the monthly, we are definitely going down pretty strong. I still think this is going to be a crutchen, and I still think this is going to end up growing into an uptrend, probably end up looking something like that, taking out these highs, and most likely turning into an either a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 1. Either way, definitely doesn't matter to me because I will be looking for longs on sort of time frames either scenario. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can actually start to see the higher highs, higher lows, which makes up what I think is still possibly a 1. I still think this is possibly an ABC right here. The most likely place for a wave C to go is the 100% level. So if it does respect that level, make it a positive turn, I would say that's the end of a wave 2 and the beginning of a wave 3, 4, and wave 5, just like what I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's keep all that in mind and head down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, as you can see, we are definitely trending down. There's no reason to think as of yet that this downtrend is over. It looks like it's passing the 78%. Like I said, the 100% is definitely the most likely place for this to end the trend. If we do see the end of a trend, then that probably is the end of a crutch and also the end of a wave 2 and the beginning of a new uptrend for the wave 3. So let's keep going down to the 4 hour time frame. On these sort of time frames as I go down really all I'm caring about now is looking for entries at the end of any one of these pullbacks that I see along the way. Really our last structure level is right here which we may even be able to move that down to here. But really unless price goes up and takes out that level I'm just going to continue to look for sorts at the end of pullbacks on these sort of time frames. So let's take it down to the 1 hour time frame. What our time frame, this most recent question was a little difficult, but I do see one down, I see three up, and then another down. So I think this is an A, I think this is an ABC. Let me do that again. I think this is the A, I think this is the ABC or B, and I think this is a C right here. I think we had an irregular way B. Now it looks like a one, two, three. It's probably gonna have to make a four and a five just to set, finish off this set of trend. And like I said, unless price goes all the way up here and takes out that structure, I am definitely only looking for sorts in a downtrend. So if I do see any pullbacks, then those are definitely the trades that I'm looking for to go sort for the continuation of what I think is a big wave C on the much longer time frames so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading